I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. Everybody wants something. Hurry up about it. Fair enough. I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. I'm listening. Good. Good. Poking around in the ruins has become a bit too dangerous for me. What is it about you that makes people assume we enjoy being in harm's way? All right, we just need to find this creature and determine what it... What it... Kila. What is that? We are going to need bigger guns. So tell me, who'd win in a fight between you and Shepard? Do Krogan size up everyone for a fight, even friends and allies? Yes. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Citadel authority supersedes yours. Let's not start a fight. I'll be behind you. That armor's in good condition. You Quarians messed up the whole galaxy when you let the Geth break free. Do your people ever talk about it? Do the Krogan talk about starting a foolish war that resulted in the Turians sterilizing your people? All the time. I need information on the Neutron Purge. The Neutron Purge is a failsafe system installed within the isolation tube area. In the event of irretrievable containment loss, it is used to resolve the situation. What exactly does this thing do? The Purge is a neutron burst weapon. Two volumes of fissionable materials are brought together to form a critical mass. Most of the energy is released in the form of high-speed neutrons. This radiation is instantly lethal to any known form of life within 500 meters. Important safety tip? Don't hit big red buttons. Do you ever regret leaving Citadel security to pursue Saren, Garrus? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. I'm pleased that the imminent destruction of all organic life has improved your career opportunities. You ever miss those talks we had on the elevators? No. Come on, remember how we'd all ask you about life on the flotilla? It was an opportunity to shape. This conversation is over. Tell me again about your immune system. I have a shotgun. Maybe we'll talk later. You say she stole your credit chip? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. How does running India mean she stole your credit chip? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Quarians are only forced to steal when people like you won't let them have real jobs. And to think my taxes pay to support you here. Go back to your fleet, clanless. I am Clan Zora, crew of the starship Nima, and you are an idiot. It's not worth getting angry about. My brain agrees with you. My gut says I should jack his suit's olfactory filter so that everything smells like refuse. Remind me never to get on your bad side. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Ducked rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. Me? Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say I delete data like you on the way to real errors. That's pretty extreme, Shepard. Laugh it up, Tally. Buggy, though. It crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake, and you should fix the problem yourself. I need Grunt back up to speed. What's wrong with him? There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Wait, so this is a pilgrimage? I don't care what aliens call it. Millions of children will be born. Warlock children. They're going to destroy the other clans. But... No. No, they said I was helping Erdnot. If you want to help Erdnot, you need to get back there. But it would take a real badass to make it back to camp while injured. I can do it. You? I said a badass, not some scout whining like a quarian with a tummy ache. 
I'm standing right here. I can do it. I'm up. And I'm going to the female camp. Damn right you are. Get back there and show them what you're worth. Go. Go. I can't believe that worked. Shepard, I can't believe you. Get! Get down! Allied fire. Taking cover. Requesting assistance, Shepard Commander. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zalcoris Vas Quib Quib. Do not ask about the name. You have a ship named Quib Quib? Oh, here we go. Our people have, during difficult periods, purchased pre-owned vessels from other cultures. So, Gabby, what do you think of our new Quarian boss? Hush, she's right over there. Ah, she can't hear us with her head in that bucket. Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful bucket. The whole suit is lovely, quite snug in all the right places. You know I can hear you. <laughs> You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually, that sounds interesting. You in, Tally? Sure, that sounds fun. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. I hope you're up for some competition. Oh, no. What did I get myself into? This should be good. Shit, you play some mean cards, Shepard. And I thought I had a good poker face. I've never seen Kenneth sweat like that. You're all right, Shepard. Most officers wouldn't fraternize with the likes of us. Shepard is no ordinary officer. Thanks, Commander. I don't know if I could live inside a suit my whole life. We are in our suits even among family. The most intimate thing we can do with another Quarian is link our suit environments. We get sick at first and then we adapt. It's our most important gesture of trust, of acceptance. I haven't trusted anyone enough for that though, except... Well, no Quarians. Um, you know what I mean. I appreciate the thought, Tally, and I feel the same way. But you don't have to prove anything to me. I know. Well, not that, that I know, but I, I didn't mean it like that. It's a... Um, wow, it's really hot in here. It's just that their tradition also signifies a willingness for um, intimacy. I wasn't trying to... It's not always like that. It's more... Um, how did we even end up talking about this? Wait a minute. It sounds like you're suggesting something, Tally. What could I possibly be suggesting? I mean, a young woman gets rescued by a dashing commander who lets her join his crew and then goes off to save the galaxy? How could she possibly develop any kind of interest in him? You have nothing to be embarrassed about, Tally. I feel the same way about you. Really? I didn't kn You never... Well, good. Anyway, I should get back to work. But thanks for coming by and talking. All right. Once we're aboard, we find whatever's broadcasting the Reaper signal and shut it down. Tally's our expert on Geth software. She'll be handling hacking and security. Good to have you back, Tally. And maybe with another Dextro aboard, they'll get better Turian food. As long as it's sterilized. Dr. Michelle did get me some Dextro amino chocolate. You're welcome to it once we're back. She got you Turian chocolate? She said she saw it and thought of me. Why? Oh, nothing. God, the vents. Always the vents. You did fine at the collector base. I got set on fire! I appreciate what you're doing here, Shepard. Well, I care deeply about the Quarian people. It's good to be back on the Normandy. Let me know if it's too quiet for you to sleep, and I'll find you someplace louder. Hmm. Uh, I was there when you two had your thing, remember? Just get a room and work it out.
I'm all right. I thought I'd lost you. You were worried? You bet I was. You dying because the Geth overrode my hack? Think of my reputation. Yeah, you were worried. Okay, toughest mission. Horizon. No fair, I hadn't joined up with you yet. Fine, the Dead Reaper then. Really? The husks just ran up to us. Have you ever noticed that I carry a sniper rifle and you're the one who likes things at short range? And you prefer to keep everything at a distance. Exactly. Wait, what? Creepiest thing we fought. The Thorian. But wait, what did you mean? I didn't mean anything. I'm going with the Rachni. The Queen? But we didn't fight her uh, either time. No, the little ones. They look like spiders and they scuttle right toward you. I thought you liked it when things got up close and personal. It appears I have that effect on humans. Now Quarians as well, it seems. For what it's worth, Quarians understand what it's like to lose your home. As I understand, that was your own fault. What do you mean? In my cycle, Quarians didn't need helmets to survive. You were the masters of your own planet. That was a long time ago. And if you hadn't given birth to the machines, you would still breathe the air that evolution intended. I see. Liara warned me you weren't what she expected. And nothing about this cycle is what I expected. Even primitive quarians were considered attractive in my age. A pity no one can appreciate it now. Except for perhaps... the commander. What? How, how do you know? <laughs> I'm not staying. I'm coming with you. I wasn't going to ask. Why not? Because I respect you, damn it. You think I don't want you to come with me? So ask me. Tally. I don't know how much time we have left. I don't know if we can beat the Reapers. But whatever happens, I want to be with you. I bet you say that to every guy who gets you a homeworld. Only the cute ones. Can't be. No. I guess that's right. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry. Uh, from Rannoch. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I, I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are... helping. Setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. So the Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore? It doesn't seem possible, but... Yes, in a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. We might still wear them. The suits have become part of our society. But a rupture won't be a death sentence. Today, on Rannoch, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you? No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Thank you. Anytime. Just let me know if you let a Geth upload itself in there. <laughs> no. The only person who gets inside my suit is you. Routing heat through propulsion and weapons will let us use the internal emission sink for three hours longer than normal. Not if it overloads propulsion. Give her a chance, Daniels. Increasing the utility of the stealth drive could come in handy. Propulsion and weapon systems have built-in heat sinks. They can trap heat while we're in stealth mode to buy us time. Quarian ships do it when they can't find a safe place to bleed off static charge. It's completely safe. This isn't the Quarian Freight Hall or Tally. Our heat diffusion systems are precision engineering. Do this, and we'd have to replace them twice as often. We can afford that. I'm more worried that it won't work. Can't put my finger on why, though. 
It's going to overload propulsion. You'll be fine, Gabby. Weapons would overload long before propulsion. That doesn't make me feel better. It's a risk, yes. But it's worth it when we need the stealth drive. Rerouting heat flow. Ashtet! Told you. I know. I'll start on repairs. Thanks, old flame. Shepard! Want a drink? I'm toasting Miranda, I think. Uh, how are you getting drunk? Very carefully. Torian brandy, triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Emergency induction port. It's actually getting a little harder to get it into the slot. I think that means it's working. She was so rude. What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? With her perfect genes and that attitude and... And still, she got it done. She stopped her father. I didn't realize this would be so hard on you. I didn't like her. Kila, she was such a bitch. But I respected her. Sometimes that's better than liking. She did whatever it took to stop her father. She never gave in to him. Never changed herself to please him. Ah. Uh. Don't ah uh, me. You sound like a forger. Seeing a bit of yourself and Miranda fighting your father? I spent my life trying to live up to him. Then making up for his mistakes, doing what he'd have wanted. It's never that easy. When do we get to stop reacting to our parents and start living for ourselves? The answer to that one's at the bottom of that glass. I might need help with the induction straw. Port. You know. I'm having a drink with my boyfriend. My human boyfriend. <laughs> my father would have hated you. Here's to him, then. And to Miranda. Nice job, you genetically perfect Cerberus cheerleader Boshtet. Kila Solai. I heard about your talk with Liara. You act so angry, but you really care about us. I need you functional to destroy the Reapers. You care about Liara. You like her. You are intoxicated. A foolish risk given Quarian symbiotic physiology. And you like me, too. This conversation is over. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. The landing pad's right over there, but it's behind a locked gate. Let's look for a control panel. By the way, nice outfit. Control panel, right. Did you really fall through a fish tank? We'll talk about it later. Do you remember back when you used to rescue me in the wards? We'll talk about it later. Stand back. Wait. Could you please open the gate? Thank you. Please leave. Well, I could have done that. Back during my pilgrimage, I used to walk around near that sushi place and watch the fish through the window. 
I knew they'd never let me inside, but I think to myself, someday, when I've proven my worth to the galaxy, I'll go there for dinner. And then, you broke their floor. Do they even have food you can eat there? Not the point, Shepard. You're looking good. Feels a little light without body armor, but it's soft to touch. Good to know. Legends can be good or bad. Which are we? You're the kind that people look up to. The kind they owe their lives to. How come everyone's always shooting at us? I think it's mostly you, Rex. The bigger the target, the bigger the... uh... target. You're saying I've gained weight? It just means there's more of the legend to love. Then we'll find our own way in. Gear up and let's... What's with the Volos? Oh, pizza delivery guy. I got the munchies. <sighs> Double pepperoni. These archives are huge. You'll have a lot of ground to cover. Shame you can't bring everyone. Who says we can't? All hands on deck for this one. Hell yeah, but uh, who gets to take point with you? Ahem. 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 Who's going to pay the bill? Other me can't be far. Keep up the pressure and we'll try to surround him. Let's move. This is why I hate Shorely. I swear you parked the ship for five minutes. Can you contact Citadel Flight Control and get them to deny the departure request? Tried. All the comm lines in the area are jammed. Probably to make it easier for them to steal my ship. We'll stop them. Shepard, your clone has entered the ship and is attempting to... Well... This is awkward. You've been practicing with that shotgun. Still remember the fast reloading trick I showed you? You know, I've taken care of myself for the past few years. I know. I'm old and I worry. Even though my favorite Quarians all grown up killing Reapers. You're like the crazy head-butting uncle I've never had. Are you ready? Well, I have to use the bathroom. And... there. Now I'm ready. I was just asking to be polite. It's a silly question. At least wash your hands afterward. So, anyone want to talk about their people's history? Kila, not even a little bit. So I'm the only one who misses when we used to chat in the elevators back on the Citadel? Yes, because you're terrible. So disappointed. Until you escape. Me? Escape? But I'm not a field agent. Stop. Just stop. 
You betrayed me and the Alliance in the middle of a war. I was young and naive. Admit it, Commander. You'll miss me. Well, I won't miss you, you crazy Boshtet. Uh, maintenance to the shuttle bay? Hey, got any plans for the evening? No. I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. You remember that line? From Fleet and Flotilla? Shalai and Bellicus on the balcony? I don't think I've ever seen that. Did. What? You've never? How could you not have? Well, I know what we're doing tonight. But shall I? We can never be together. I am my duty, and you have your people. Not tonight. Tonight, I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. You watch this a lot? With the lovers from two different worlds? Every time my friends and I had a sleepover, we memorized the lyrics from the musical. Oh! We can activate sing-along mode! Let the moon shining light Hide to lovers with its rays Though I know that Unmasked, I feel your skin on Every time you had a sleepover, huh? I guess you always had a thing for exotic alien men. I don't hear you complaining. So, Shepard, you can serve this will, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive you all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Wait, what? Who? Trainer, you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Call up Cerberus and ask them to please build us the SR-3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR-3. It's Vas Normandy. <laughs> von means one who has a weak bladder, which feels appropriate right about now. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have, indeed. Here, here. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to falling in love with the ship's captain. I remember first meeting Shepard. All I kept thinking was, I hope he took a shower because my filter needs replacing and humans carry a lot of germs. I'm guessing that's not what you think anymore. Well, she may still picture him in the shower. What's wrong, you two? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. This is a really good cheese, Shepard. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, uh, there's a context there that... Uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement, and uh, I didn't know you were an AI. <laughs> There's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostic suggested that you were genuinely aroused. 
It's really rare to get earth dextro cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. Wait, this is dextro cheese, right? Kiva, did I forget to scan the cheese? This is why I don't drink. Fair is fair, trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in certain sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Don't mind me. I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program so I don't die. I'm just going to sit here quietly and hope someone changes the subject. Awkward. Awkward. Really? You have them all memorized? 67. Holmium. Very reactive. Very magnetic. Torian parties almost never end with someone reciting the elements. 68. Erbium. Atomic weight 167 and change. Nice. My turn. 69. <laughs> In your dreams. What? I don't get it. <laughs> I'll explain it later. <laughs> it's thulium, in case anyone cared. Turians have trace amounts in our skin. Protects us from solar radiation. Nerd! Of course, the SR2 is much bigger, so they upgraded the ventilation system. More of a... <laughs> That's actually what it sounds like. There is a lot more space now. But if you move further up, it's more of a... <laughs> a what? You have to imagine my arms are the wings. I feel so safe. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Over by the med bay. Exactly. What are you guys talking about? Tally was acting out the differences between the original Normandy and the SR2. Acting. I may have recorded it. And that recording may already have six million extranet hits and a fan site. You better hope I never find you. Shoom. Shoom. You will know what I'm talking about. Tally, are you okay? Yep. You want to see my tattoo? I don't think you have a tattoo, Tally. It's a hologram. Omni tattoo. Omni tat. Omni two. <laughs> Under the suit. You know, for me. You want to know what it is? You want to know? It's a pretty bird made of rainbows. It is flying out of the eye hole of a skull, being held in the mouth of a thresher maw with a naked woman holding a sword on its back. Jack said you'd think it was hot. Remind me to talk to Jack in the morning. Where'd you get the Omni tattoo anyway? Down in the lower wards, near the bottom. I meant where on your body. So did I. <laughs> yeah, I heard that one from Liara. Get some rest, Tally. You sure you're okay, Tally? Fine. Suit doesn't let me get overly intoxic. Intox. 
drunk. Just have it all flushed out in a minute. <laughs> Omni two. It just smells like sweat. Why would you even ask that? Don't do that in my helmet. It just gunks up the filters. No, that gets broken down with mass effect fields. Those are just my hips. Go for the optics, Chatika. Mmm, Shepard. You know I'm ticklish. <laughs> Hey, everyone. Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way! Make way! Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy! Normandy. Who's here? Keela. I'm going to be so sick. Totally worth it. I'll let you know. Ugh. Who put my suit back on? The buckles are all askew. And when did I get an Omni tattoo? Let's see if anyone else is up. I'm going to die. I didn't know you could go through that many toxin filters in one night. Do I have a tattoo? I remember something about a tattoo. Don't get me wrong. Great party, but... Ugh, yeah. I'll just be here. Right here. Forever. Ugh. Ugh.